Carew. Marie. O'Donna. Lomar. Milano. Corano. Guys, you were right. The bear is alive. He's killed Joey and Lee Knight. I don't know what to do anymore, but I'm not just going to sit here and fear for my life. I'm going to stop this evil bear. Hello, Lauren. Your big brother is friends with Fred, and, you know, I'm more of a friend to Fred. Killer. Oh, this place looks a bit familiar. It reminds me of the picture of that house that the old man used to live in, in the newspapers. I surely can't tell Mr. Bear about this because it will remind him all about it and then he might kill me. I can't believe you guys actually managed to kill them. I'm very proud. But now what about Fred? He's the only one left. Trust me, guys. He has a big surprise coming to him. I've already awakened all the toys. It's time for him to see them. <laughs> <laughs> All the toys are coming to life. And I can't even be the one to save them because I'm no hero. My God, that's impressive. Yes. I can't believe we're turning all of the dumb humans we've killed into Michael Myers, one of the coolest Halloween films ever. We are all meant to turn them into Michael Myers because that will be our slave for years and years. All the toys have been the slaves of all children. Come with me. Fred's coming. I can hear him. Goodbye, crazy statue. Hello there, Georgie. Pennywise. Why the long face? Pennywise, Mr. Bear brought you to life, didn't he? Why mention the bear? Is there anything wrong with the clown? Oh, come on, come on, Pennywise. I'm feeling pain at the moment. Oh, I felt 
felt pain as well, you know, little Georgie. The way you pulled one of my arms off. Do you know how painful that was? Pennywise, if you leave the house, I promise I'll never be mean to any toy again. It's not that simple anymore, little Georgie. <laughs> now the toys are in control and there's nothing you can do about it. You're wrong, Pennywise. I'm gonna destroy all you toys and save the world. Uh, Master Bear, you do realise that that young man we're after hasn't even turned up yet? That's because I'm waiting. Waiting for what, sir? For him to go crazy, ballistic. I want all the toys to drive him crazy. I don't know. Just try your best to torture him. Where will you be? Watching him. What's on the TV, Fred? <laughs> You're on TV just like me. Shut up. Hello, Fred. Now I can't get stuff out of my head. What's the matter? What are you thinking of? of Mr. Bear. Well, I don't blame you. You know, Mr. Bear, he is gonna kill you and everyone in this town and you'll just let that happen. You know, you may be controlling me, but I'll always defeat you. Really? That's how you see me? as your ghost. So pathetic. So pathetic. You're not even real, and yet you're dumb enough to see me like that. Mr. Bear may have killed my friends, but believe me, he won't kill me. He won't touch me. Maybe not Fred, but the other toys will. You hate toys! <laughs> Young man, Master Bear wants you executed immediately. He's right, everybody kill him. <laughs> What's the matter? You want a balloon? <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Fred? To destroy another toy, I'm guessing? Don't give me that sorry look, Fred. Sorry means nothing anymore. Of course it doesn't. Fred's never gonna feel sorry. Not for as long as he lives. No, no, I am sorry. I, I... Shut up, Fred. If you were actually sorry, why are you trying to leave the room? Because he thinks we're going to kill him. No, we're not going to kill you, Fred. Mr. Bear's going to kill you. We're just there to, you know, annoy you, torture you. We're stronger than you are, Fred. We've been on the streets because of you, and yet we haven't even hurt you yet. I, 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 I just don't know what I was thinking. Of course it doesn't. Just like that night that you beat up your girlfriend until she bled in the middle of the road. 
and took off all her clothes and left her naked in a pool of blood at night. Just because she laughed at another guy's YouTube video. I was drunk. I guess you were drunk when you pulled off one of my legs as well, Thread. And hit me in your sister's food. And threw me on the streets with a tiny paper for sale sign on my back. Strangled me with your girlfriend's old clothes. Tried flushing me down the toilet because you thought I was too ugly. Punched me in the face. Called me stupid teddy bear I don't know how many times. Fred, all these toys have been for as much pain as you have in life, but it's all your fault. Mr. Bear, how do I make up for it? You won't. It's too late, Fred. Now, everyone we've killed in this whole country are gonna be our toys, including you. Mr. Bear, that doesn't have to happen. It's too late now, Fred. Michael, tie him up. The reason I was so horrible to you was because, you know, I'm a bad person, but you've taught me to be a good person. Don't listen to him, Master Bear. I'm not going to. Fred, you're weak. You know it, I know it. All the toys know it. I mean, you are my best friend, Mr. Bear. I am. Of course you are. I don't want to stay in this house anymore, though, Mr. Bear. Um, okay, Fred. I'm sure the toys here will be all right on their own. Master Bear, you can't actually be buying this. Just don't trick me. Master Bear, wait. Come on, Mr. Bear. Let's go. This young man thinks he can just take what's ours and make it his own. Well, toys, all of us together are going to do more than Master Bear ever would have done and we are going to ruin that little boy's life get ready fred for your worst nightmare